first thing you want to do is take your wire. You're going to attach it to one of the sides. Just twist it on. Like so. And some people leave this on. I think I'll leave it on this time just to show you. And what I've done here is I've gone ahead and cut a bunch of pieces that are about this big that will fit well on this wreath. So I got a variety. I've got some cedar and different pines and spruce. So I usually grab groups of three. You'll place it with the round side up and you'll place it on your wreath and then you'll wrap it. I'll do two times when I'm first starting to get it a little more secure. So you can see how cute that is. I love the variety. So then you just continue to grab groups of three. I won't grab three different ones every time. Lots of times I grab a bunch that are similar. And if you feel like it's too long, it tear really well too. So these ones are all pretty similar. And then you go ahead and you layer it right on top of your last group. And then you take your wire and you wrap it and pull it tight. You kind of spread it out a little bit. I kind of like that crazy guy know. Something else that's lovely to add is some fresh herbs. So I have some rosemary from my garden. I don't have very much of it, but I think a little bit will spice up the reef a little bit and make it smell great. Pull it tight. And pull it nice and tight. So the bat, you can see how it's just kind of pulling it. You're kind of layering it as you go. Oh, look how cute this one is. Oh, it's little pads. I like this has a little bit harsher of an image on the wreath, so I like to layer it underneath. Some of the more delicate needles. So layer it and wrap it tight. it like that and wrap your wire around pulling it tight each time sometimes I'll add a wrap it twice sometimes I'll just wrap it once but. I've also thought it's cute to add some branches sometimes it's even got a little bit of green on it But again, like the harsher lines from the branches, I think looks better underneath some of the more delicate pieces of pine. Place it and wrap it, pulling it tight. So you can see we're already halfway done and Great. So we're in Utah and it's not too cold today so I thought it would be nice to do outside. A lot of people wonder where you can get the fresh greenery and I got mine mostly from local trees um, and also just some people getting rid of their the trunk of their um, Christmas tree. So. You don't have to buy it. You can look around your neighborhood and ask your neighbors for their leftover stump from their pine tree and usually they'll have some fresh greens on it. You can also go to the Christmas tree lots and some of them will just give you 
some of their clippings that they've taken from their trees. Just have to ask. And then I know um, Trader Joe's has a lot of clippings and stuff that you can get to add into your wreath. I've seen them there. As well as like Home Depot or Lowe's even. So there you go. Sometimes I just, I like this about this size. Sometimes it's bunches of three, sometimes it's more. But just kind of lay it in front, wrap it tight. And the rosemary smells so good. I'm gonna cut that. So when you're trimming them, one of the things I try to do is trim it as close to where it intersects as possible. So I'll just trim it. And then I'll take it and I'll layer it on top. Whoops, layer it on top like that so that it's more of a, more balanced, I guess. You just layer it until it's kind of a happy spot for you. I think I'm gonna put some of these longer needles behind this one. Wrap this one twice, it's a little bulkier. You can kind of just feel like how tight to make it. Make sure it's snug in there. These wreaths are such good gifts too, because like my grandma, I never know what to get her because she just she's just a happy, cute grandma, and sometimes it's just nice to have a little fresh green in your house during the holiday season. So she she loves getting this. At least I think she does. <laughs> she tells me she does. She's sweet. Rosemary just looks so cute in with it too because it just fits right in. This is the first year I've tried rosemary and I love it. So I hope my bush grows bigger next year so I can use more. I think towards the end wrapping it twice is better practice just because the layers kind of start to bunch out a little bit. So I probably like one or two more groups and then this little guy's done. So if you can see, I got some like lighter greens and some of the darker green. When you get to this point, so they're kind of overlapping already, you go ahead and you lift up your first section and you tuck this one in underneath that section. And then you just wire it, trying not to get that first section of greenery. Okay, there we go, all done. So now just to tie it off. I don't have my wire cutter back here, but these hedge clippers work really well. So you just kind of trim it off, giving yourself like four inches or so and I'll just kind of wrap it and twist it around so I got it around the far one and I'll just go around it a few times to lock it in and that's really all you need um can add some ribbon and I like to add some dried oranges this year Sometimes it's just cute, just like that. And there's your fresh tree. <laughs>